Now here, I just kind of gently further twist the tip just to, and smush it kind of in, just trying to get nice and narrow and pointy. Don't worry too much about getting it neat all the way down. A lot of that will be inside the dreidel, so as long as it's kind of smooth and, you know, twisted, you're good. As long as there's a, like a lot of big gaps where the paper can get caught on. So the next step is we flip it over and we're kind of imagining, you don't need to draw here. We're imagining we're going to do these little reverse folds in, and these are kind of right about their folds. So, or judgment folds. So here I usually do it about two thirds. So down the length of the side. So you imagine dividing this into thirds and it doesn't look like it cause you're looking at a slope. So there's perspective here, but it's about two thirds. So if you imagine from here to the center going along the length of the paper, not from this perspective, it's about one third of the total length or diameter if you, or radius, if you will, of the paper. So if you imagine this is the diameter, that's the radius. We're going about a third of the way down from the tip of the spinning top or the center. And then we're just making that little reverse fold to the edges. And right now, as you can see, it'll kind of just not stay very well, but it'll, it'll you can kind of get it started. So that's it started. Now what we're going to do is just where these kind of corners are coming in. I'll show it a little better here. Where these corners are coming in, we want to, you can kind of see the direction of the handle here. We want these corners to keep tucking in kind of around the handle until these two points roughly meet up. So I'll show more here. So now you can see it's starting to curl around the handle. And these two points are gonna start getting closer and closer together as you tuck that paper in until you get something about like this. You'll notice the paper at this point is getting pretty stiff and hard to work with. This is fine. Um, it'll continue to get stiff and hard to work with up until the last step. But like I said, having the paper kind of stiff like that and thick with the layers, I find really does help with this model and its function. Um, the next step, it's kind of hard to see what I'm trying to say here, but you're basically going to take these little corners. Keep in mind there is paper that kind of runs along down into the model, but you're going to take from this little triangle here, you just want to fold. Again, this is a judgment fold. Take a little bit down and fold it like into the model. So that's what I'm trying to say. You're kind of folding along that line down into the model. But don't fold it, tuck it in all the way yet. Just kind of start it. So pinch like that. So if you see here, I just kind of taken the corners and I've started to pinch them downward. And for the final lock, you are just going to wrap this pinch kind of over that ledge, wrap this pinch kind of over that ledge, this pinch over that ledge, that pinch over that ledge. So you're just kind of locking it down, wrapping it into itself around the handle. Do be careful though, it's pretty easy to buckle or mess up the handle when you do this because you don't have a lot of room to work with. I recommend, as you see behind here, a little bone folder, having something to kind of help tuck it in, something flat and hard. Um, could be like the back of a spoon, like the handle or whatever, the handle like a silverware, just something flat and hard that you can kind of use to tuck it in will help you if you don't have access to a bone folder. Um, so as you can see here, I'm just tucking it in, tucking it in more until you kind of get to there. Once you've done this and you've kind of tucked it in, you can further neaten up the edges. But at this point, you have a completed dreidel. And if you want for functionality, you can get a Sharpie and, you know, draw little Hebrew characters on it for the dreidel. And I recommend kind of holding close to the base, hold the top like such, and just give it a gentle spin. Here, where I was at when I was making this, 
that wood table is a really rough grain and was just a very rough surface. If you spin this on a really rough surface, don't expect good results. Uh, as I found, as it tried to spin, it would catch the rough surface of the table and just kind of fly in the air and not really be able to get a good spin. But once it started spinning, if it landed on something smooth, like that sheet of paper there, that notepad, it then could fall off onto the table once it had that centripetal force of the spinning, right? The centrifugal force, it, it stabilized and would spin on any surface. So there you can see it kind of fell off the paper, but it's still spinning, and then it falls over. I do have a video, that's another one I had made. Here we go. There you see if it spins off, it's fine. Let me get a better video. There we go. So you see it spins off a little, but works just fine. There's a blue one for reference. That time it hit the one on the side. You see it works just fine. And that's the first one I made. And there you go. That is the dreidel.